Today we're going to be talking about chipping, but specifically of sloping lies. I've got a down slope here, so the golf ball is very much on a down slope. We're on a down slope going towards the hole here. Quite a tricky one because it's so easy to catch too much ground here because the ground behind the ball is so much higher. So what we've got to try and do to make sure we gain good contact here, it's not about the distance per se, it's about trying to get the quality of contact going before anything else. So a couple of things we absolutely need to do here because we've got to accept that the ball is going to come out quite low. On a down slope, the ball will launch very, very low initially, even if we make good contact. Okay, so we can't try and get any height on it. The problem is if we try and get height on it, we'd be tempted to hang back and really catch that ground that's a lot higher than before the golf ball. That's an absolute no-no. So we've got to make sure, absolute first rule here, is we lean with the slope. So in other words, for right-handed golfers on a down slope, we need that weight very much on our left side. And I mean really a lot on that left side. 99.9% .9 recurring. It almost feels like the the right big toe is just the only point of contact we've got with the ground there. So we need to make sure we're leaning with the slope. With that, we need to lean that handle towards the target as well. Again, leaning the club with the slope. There's a theme going on here. We're really trying to go with the slope. We're trying to let the slope help us rather than us acting against that slope. So weight on that left side, handle ahead. And what we do need to see here, what a lot of people really make the mistake of, is not utilising the wrist at all. They try and keep the wrist really, really stiff and rigid. The problem with that is it makes it very, very difficult to get that club underneath the golf ball from there. We need to allow the wrist to do some of the work. So they need to be by class as relaxed as opposed to very, very stiff. It's not a putt, remember. It's a little bit more of a longer shot than a putt. We need to make sure that club is getting to the ground at the right point. So we need to allow those wrists to do just a little bit of work. Don't mean flick complete, completely. I mean just letting the wrist just relax through the shot. So three big rules on a down slope. Weight on that left side, handle ahead, allow those wrists to be used. And hopefully what we'll then see is that ball, yes, coming out a bit low, allowing for the run, but making sure we're not sorrowing the ball back and forth towards that putting green. We're getting it on the green, giving ourselves a chance of a one putt. Hope this helps.